ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jane Stanley, and I will be performing stand-up comedy for you this evening. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out this evening. And just as a reminder, I would like to go over the house rules one more time, just in case you didn't hear them. Rule number one, do not talk during the pageant. It is very distracting to both the competitors and your fellow audience members. If you are caught talking during the pageant, you will be flogged. <laughs> Rule number two, please turn off your cell phones during the pageant, or at least put them on silent. It's very disturbing when your ringtone comes on during the pageant, and it's Miley Cyrus's We Can't Stop. Oh, and by the way, Miley, you can stop, and you should. <laughs> Once again, please turn off your cell phones. If you do not turn off your cell phones, you will be flogged. Rule number three, please be respectful during the pageant. If the person you want to win doesn't win, don't have a nervous breakdown in the auditorium. Save it for somewhere more appropriate, like McDonald's. <laughs> if you are caught being disrespectful during the pageant, you will be flogged. Being on this stage reminds me a lot of my days as a Miss MHS competitor. Don't let these girls fool you, ladies and gentlemen. Being in a pageant's really hard. You have to learn the dance, you have to sell advertisements, you have to do the walk. <laughs> you have to have some kind of talent, you have to give a speech, and then there's the interview with the judges. You walk into a country club. It's, it's a nice country club. You're wearing your cute little dress, you're walking around in your high heels, trying not to fall over, and then you walk up to the judges, sitting in a row, just like they are now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, I had a hard time with the interview process. <clears throat> so, Jane, how are you doing today? <sighs> Good. <laughs> okay. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself, Jane? No. <laughs> okay, um, you're a comedian. Why don't you tell us a joke? Oh, why, why can't my cat talk? Why? Because he's dead. <laughs> But being in a pageant does get you a lot of exposure, especially around Middleburg. Why, just the other day, I went out on a date with somebody. I went to the movies, uh, we had a really nice dinner, we even went back to my place. I had a really fun time hanging out with my mom that evening. <laughs> but I do like to have the occasional romance. And for all you lonely hearts out there in the audience, I would like to provide some relationship advice. Start with a pickup line. Hey girl, are you responsible for the total destruction of the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Because you're the bomb. <laughs> or, or you could try a compliment. Girl, did you fall from heaven? Because that would explain why your face is so messed up. <laughs> but when you do hook the girl, you have to figure out where to go on the first date. Contrary to the popular belief of the average Middleburg citizen, this does not involve blooding down at the swamp with Bubba and a gap in the sweet tail. <laughs> no, I'm a firm believer in what everyone wants. Buy me chocolate, tell me I'm pretty, and shut your mouth so I can watch The Bachelor all night. <laughs> and of course, with every relationship, there comes the dreaded breakup. The evil, evil breakup. How are you supposed to handle that? You can't just run away and hide in the woods until everyone thinks you're dead. I know, because I've tried. <laughs> no, breakups deserve a certain eloquence. They deserve a certain panache, if you will. And so that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to provide with you Jane Stanley's book of breakup poetry. <clears throat> I'm really tired of your face. Everything you say is a disgrace. I'd rather cut myself in two than spend my time on dating you. Or, try 
Try this one. We've been together for seven years, through laughs and grins and even tears. But I'm afraid we must break up. I kissed your sister, that's what's up. <laughs> or, of course, there's the poetry from my personal dating experience. Jane, I think you're super rad. We're breaking up. Please don't be sad. I think that we should just be friends. And by the way, I now like men. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's all the time I have. My name is Jane Stanley. Good night.